Hi, this is CADCAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system in which we can create our own 3D models. And FreeCAD can be used as a hobbyist, that is we can use this system at home for such hobbyist projects. As well as FreeCAD can be used commercially, that is we can also use this system for doing paid projects. We can install FreeCAD in the company on any number of computers and we can use this system without restrictions. If you would like to learn the basics of 3D modeling in this system step by step, you can take part in my training course, the link to which is in the description of this video. Now I will move on to FreeCAD and show you how to create something like this. I will start a new project in the part design module and here we will start by creating a sketch and actually the sketch is the key element of this model because very often with 3D CAD systems we work in such a way that we first create a 2D sketch on the basis of which we add operations to create 3D solids and in FreeCAD we can also work in such a way. That is, it is the 2D sketch, the flat drawing is the basis for creating the 3D model. Here I will create a sketch on the XY plane and draw some circles. I will draw the first circle in such a way that the center of this circle coincides with the origin of the coordinate system. To do this while drawing the circle, hover over the center of the origin of the coordinate system and as this point is highlighted, then click the left mouse button to connect the center of this circle with the origin of the coordinate system. As for the second point, draw the second point anywhere and now draw another circle. Also in such a way that the center of this circle coincides with the origin of the coordinate system. Ok, and for this to be possible to use such an automatic constraints, the automatic constraints option must be enabled here. By the way, I suggest you pay attention to the fact that the option for automatic removal of redundant constraints is also enabled. So here we have these two options enabled. And now we will draw more circles and draw them in such a way that the centers of the circles coincides with the x-axis. To do this, as the x-axis will be highlighted, left click to connect the center of the circle with this axis place the second point anywhere and do the same with the next circle and do the same on the other side of the y-axis. Here I will need four more circles and I will draw these four circles more or less in these places. At this point the position and diameter of these circles is irrelevant. Now click the right mouse button to cancel the circle drawing command. And now we will move on to adding dimensions and constraints so that we specify the dimensions and position of these geometries. We will start by dimensioning the diameters of the circles. Here diameter 80. Here diameter 100 here diameter 30, here diameter 50, here diameter 160. I will move a little bit this circle. Here I have already cancelled the dimensioning. These circles can also move a little bit. Now I'm selecting this circle and this circle and I'm selecting equality constraint and so this circle and this circle and I'm also selecting equality constraint. And now I choose dimensioning horizontal distance and I dimension the distance between these two points. And here I type 220 millimeters and right click to cancel the dimensioning command. And now select the center of this circle, the center of this circle and the y axis and choose a symmetry constraint so as to place these circles symmetrically about the y-axis. Then let's select four of these circles and let's add an equality constraint here. OK. And now select this circle and this circle and choose the tangency constraint and then select this circle and this circle and choose the tangency constraint and do the same with the other circles. That is, here we select these circles and add the tangency constraints between these circles.
OK. Now let's select the trim geometry command and trim these parts of the circles. OK. And here trim this part of the circle, this, this part and this part. Right click to cancel this. And here we have a lost constraint. And in order to fix that, I will do it such a way that I will constrain this point to this point because they are positioned symmetrically about the y-axis I will set it so that these points lie at the same height OK and now select line drawing and draw four lines in such a way that the ends of these lines lie on these geometries and here again automatic constraints are useful Note that as I hover over this line, this line turns yellow and as I click here the beginning of this line is connected with this part of the circle and do the same thing on the other side, also draw two lines OK, cancel this command and we have four lines and now I select this point this point and the x-axis and I select the symmetry constraint and I do the same thing on the other side this point, this point and the x-axis and here also the symmetry constraint then let's add a dimension between these two points here let's enter 15 millimeters and do the same on the other side select these two points dimension 15 millimeters and here let's make these lines horizontal that is select these lines and choose a constraint so that these lines are horizontal lines ok and now select trim geometry and remove these pieces of geometry there the constraint was lost and we will fix that in a moment and here the constraint is not there at this point because as I grab this point I can move this point and I will try to fix it in such a way that I select this point, this point and the x-axis and select the symmetry constraint. Ok, this has been fixed and here similarly this point, this point and the x-axis and I select the symmetry constraint and we have the sketch fully constrained exit the sketch and add an extrusion here for 10 millimeters. then we will create a sketch on this face select this face and select create sketch here we will create a circle with its center at the origin of the coordinate system and add the diameter dimension of this circle to 90 millimeters. OK, close the sketch and add a pocket operation for a depth of 3 mm. OK, and now we are going to create the same pocket on the other side and we are going to do it using the mirror operation. And for this I will create an auxiliary plane. With the control key I select these two walls and select create a datum plane. Click OK and with that a plane has been created that goes through the center of this solid. And now I select this operation, I choose the mirror command and here as a plane for mirroring I select the select reference command and point to this plane that we created. And this pocket has been added on the other side. I click OK to approve it. I will turn off the visibility of this plane and here I select this wall and this wall and choose the chamfer command and add a chamfer on the edges of these walls. OK, and this is how we created something like this. And that's all for today and if you would like to learn more about working with FreeCAD, you want to learn the basics of 3D modeling in this system step by step, then you can take part in my FreeCAD 3D modeling basics training, which you can find a link to in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.